Good morning, Tanmina Khan is here in TK Maths S1. In today's video, I will explain to you a concept of coordinate geometry. This topic is a part of the syllabus of O level mathematics. And the question I have picked up is from CIE June 19, variant 1 1, question 17. Before I begin, um, you can see on the top my website address and my blog address. Do visit it, you will find it very useful in your learning process. And do share it with your friends. Thank you. So let's begin with the question. A line segment AB joins point A and point B. So you can say there are two points and they're joined by a line. You have to find the coordinates of the midpoint of the uh, AB. So for example, if I draw up a sketch here, suppose this is my point A, 3.2, and this is my point B, minus 1, comma 10. I have to find out this midpoint, the coordinates of this midpoint. So this is very simple. You just need to apply the formula. And what is the formula for the midpoint? x1 plus x2 divided by 2, which means you add the x coordinate of both the points and then divide it by 2. That gives you the x coordinate of the midpoint. And then y1 plus y2 divided by 2, it means add the y coordinates of the two points, which are at the end and then divide it by 2. This gives you the midpoint y coordinate. So for example, this is my x and this is my y, right? So when I will do x1 plus x2 divided by 2, I will get this coordinate. And when I will do y1 plus y2 divided by 2, I will get this coordinate, right? So let's see the application of it. Okay, so the x coordinate is 3 in point A and minus 1 in point B. So I'm adding them up and divided by 2. Similarly, I'm adding up y coordinates of the two points and then divided by 2. The coordinates of the midpoint are 1, 6. Right? I hope it is clear. So we just have to remember this formula. Add the x coordinate, divide by 2. Add the y coordinate, divide by 2. Let's see part 2 of the question, which says find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AV. Now you need to understand what is a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular mean 90 degree, something meets at 90 degree, it is perpendicular to each other. When two lines are perpendicular to each other, they are meeting at 90 degree. Bisector mean dividing into two equal parts. So let's see here, this was the line AB, right? We have just found, and we have found the midpoint of it, which is 1, 6. Now, I have to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. It means I have to find the equation of this blue line which is perpendicular to it and dividing A and B into two equal parts. It means this part and this part is same lengthwise from A to M and M to B are equal in length. So M is a midpoint. So this question was made easy for you by finding midpoint earlier. Otherwise, you have to find out yourself here if only this question comes. So now I have to find the equation of this line. Now, this line is a straight line, right? So, equation of a linear line, a straight line is y is equals to mx plus c. So, you need to find m of this line, which is perpendicular to ab, and then you have to find out c. You will get your line equation. So, how will you get your m? Now, we know the relation between line and perpendicular lines gradient. If this line ab has gradient m, for example, then perpendicular line will have gradient minus 1 over m, which means it is reciprocal of it and opposite sign. So let's find the gradient of AB. And the gradient formula we know, it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It means we subtract the y coordinate and then we divide it by subtraction of the x coordinate. So let's find out the gradient of the line AB. So I have done 10 minus 2 and minus 1 minus 3. You can do other way, other, um, I mean, this point also you can take first, for example, 2 minus 10 divided by 3 minus minus 1. Whatever y coordinate you are taking first, take its x coordinate in the denominator first, simple rule. So minus 8 over 4, which is minus 2. So same gradient you will get. So gradient of the line AB is minus 2. So what will be the gradient of this line then? It will be inverse of it and opposite sign. If it is minus, it will become plus. 
because when there is no denominator it is 1 so inverse of minus 2 is 1 over 2 right okay so gradient of perpendicular bisector we have found it is 1 over 2 so now i know m how will i find out c so we have found gradient which is this to find out c this point should be on this line and this is my blue line this line okay I'm trying to find out perpendicular bisector. So what point do you know on this line? Only one point, which is a midpoint, 1 comma 6. So you will substitute y or replace y by 6 and x by 1 to get your c. If you had any other point in case, then you could pick that point. So whatever point is present on this line, basically. And then you simplify it. You got c, 11 over 2. So now I have m. I have C, I will just plug in the values here and I will rearrange it. So this is my equation of the perpendicular bisector. I hope it is clear. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please like, like it and subscribe it and share it with your friends. And um, thank you once again for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.